let's get to this because this story is fun. In a mocking conservatives is fun way. Sad in a we're all going to die soon sort of way because we're right. destroying the planet. Right. So there's this new uh, craze going on in the conservative world. And this originally, this originally wasn't a conservative-only thing. It was sort of like, you know, a bro, look at me. I put on the, uh, you know, those, uh, have you seen those, those big trucks that have the, uh, the nuts, literally the, 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 the balls on the bumper? <laughs> no. There's like oh, wait, you know, the big nuts for trucks, I, I believe it's called, or something have, like that. Yeah. It's for that crowd. But the conservatives have taken upon themselves to, to co-opt this trend to give an F you to Barack Obama. Coal rollers are diesel trucks modified with chimneys and equipment that can force extra fuel into the engine, causing dark black smoke to pour out of the chimney stacks. You've probably seen these. They look like, you know, those straight up steel chimneys, like, like, like the description says. And you see the black smoke bellowing out. And sometimes it flies under the, uh, where the exhaust is too. And it gets all up in your, uh, your windshield if you're driving behind these cars. But Dave Weigel at Slate and uh, the website Vocative have pointed out that the rolling coal trend has begun to take on a political dimension as pickup drivers have increasingly viewed their smokestacks as a form of political protest against the evil environmentalists and the evil Obama administration's emission regulations. <laughs> we must use these in the culture war battle, said conservatives. Now, uh, they caught up with uh, one of these truckers a South Carolina truck owner named Ryan who explained it. He tried to separate himself from the losers, but I think he might have to take a look in the mirror. The feeling around here is that everyone who drives a small car is a liberal. This is, the, this is really the conservative mind. I mean, are you kidding me? No. I rolled coal in a Prius once just because they were tailing me. It's bad for the environment. That's definitely true, he admitted. <laughs> and some of the kids that have diesel trucks can just look like tools. I think Ryan needs to take a look in the, in the, look in the mirror. Because I think you are a tool, buddy. And here's the best part. Here we go. And you can cause re a wreck, but everything else about it is pretty good. <laughs> these people, these people, uh, you know, uh, you could kill somebody with these things, but, and uh, I think people who use it are, are, are a tool, but I've done it and it's pretty cool. Unbelievable. Uh, a seller of the coal rolling customization equipment uh, who said that you can get your co your truck customized as a coal roller for the low, low price of $500. Stick it to Obama and the environment for the low price of $500, folks. Uh, he said, I run into a lot of people who really don't like Obama. At all. If he's into the Obama, if, he, if Obama's into the environment, if he's into this or that, we are not. I hear a lot of that. To get a single stack on my truck, that's my way of giving them the finger. <laughs> you want clean air and a tiny carbon footprint? Well, screw you! <laughs> what do you say to this? Like, there's no way for me to make this more funny. Like, I, I fail to, to provide you with a comedic viewpoint on this, folks. Because you just can't do it. There's nothing funnier than a self-parody. There really isn't. The popularity of the coal rolling movement is exploding. 
Facebook pages with hundreds of thousands, well, not hundreds of thousands, let's be real here, tens of thousands of uh, followers have been popping up, and uh, it's st- coal rollers are starting to pop uh, in the Google Trend uh, data analysis. And many of the rolling coal Facebook pages feature memes mocking hybrid drivers and liberals. Nothing worse. Coal rollers have also been posting videos on YouTube, which is becoming a trend, where they show their trucks blasting more environmentally efficient cars with smoke on the road. So they're basically trying to illegally cause car accidents and posting this evidence of them to partaking in this illegal activity on YouTube. Very smart. You guys, you guys know what you're doing. Uh... I would just like to note that the Clean Air Task Force has estimated that pollutants from diesel vehicles lead to 21,000 premature deaths each year and to create a cancer risk that is seven times greater than the combined risk of all 181 other air toxics tracked by the EPA. I mean, it's not like we all breathe the same air, though, right, Michael? I mean, we... I mean, we're, we don't, I mean, who, who needs? I don't breathe that air. Who needs clean air? Oh, and I also want to note that um, the real funny thing here that I really enjoy is what they call the people who drive these vehicles, who they blast with the coal roller. If they're driving a hybrid, they're a nature nuffy. Nature nuffy? No idea. And... To prove that conservatives are completely open-minded and they don't hate minorities and they're totally not racist. Japanese-made cars, whom they also blast. Of course. They call them rice burners. It also shows that their humor is really up to date. Yeah. That's like, that sounds like a, they're re- that's like no, a actually, friggin' they, they, World they, War they, II joke. They are, they are hilarious when they're not trying to be, to be fair. True. They are the best comedian. I mean, Louis C.K. has got nothing on them. <laughs> When they're out there saying, some of these kids who do this can look like tools, but I did it to a Prius once, and although you can cause a wreck, everything else about it's pretty amazing. I love it. Amazing. (laughs)